welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Our yoga class today is just a little bit of an all-around uh, gentle flow class. Nothing too crazy. It is Monday here on this day of filming the class. So it's kind of a class about just getting rid of the Monday and moving into the rest of your week. Take a comfortable seat when you're ready to get started, whatever that means for you today. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes, maybe even bring your chin a little bit towards your chest. Feel your breath. Feel your shoulders moving as you breathe in. Gently expanding and returning to normal. Feel the gentle rise and fall of your belly. open. On your exhale, relax your shoulders. On your inhale, bring your arms up over your head. On your exhale, bring your right hand down and your left arm over, just coming into a gentle side bend. Feel free to look up underneath the left hand if that feels nice to your body. Center line, reach both arms up. Exhale, twist over to your left now. Dropping your hands down where they feel comfortable. Leaving the right hand where it is, as you inhale, you're going to bring your left arm over and across to the opposite leg, kind of a matching spot, and then round your spine forward into a bit of a cat shape, nodding your chin again towards your chest, and just hold this gentle stretch for a moment. Inhale, release with your arms up over your head, uncrossing. And as you exhale, bring your left hand down and your right arm over, coming into that side bend. And inhale, come back to the center line, reach both arms up. On your exhale, twist over to your right, dropping the hands down wherever they feel comfortable and supportive to your twist. Feel free to peek back behind you if that feels nice for your neck. it is you'll come back to the center line cross the right arm on top and again round a little bit forwards here chin to the chest belly button to the spine 
Elbows back about shoulder height. Open the center of your chest forward. Come through a cow pose. Maybe you can gaze up. As you exhale, rock back. Bring your palms, your elbows, and your forearms as close together as possible. Belly to the spine. Inhale. Cow. And exhale, cat. And do a few more like this at your own pace. Maybe squeeze the space between your shoulder blades as you bring those elbows back and open it up as you bring the elbows forward. One more set of single cow and cat. Your really arms up as you inhale, maybe follow with your gaze. As you exhale, bring your hands down. Bring yourself to your hands and to your knees, to your table pose. And you want in this one, your index fingers to be parallel to the long edge of the mat. So they're facing directly up towards the front of your mat. Shrug your shoulders back, reach the crown of your head forward as you inhale, tuck your right set of toes under, reach your right foot back. Lift up through the pit of your belly, reach your left fingertips forward, leave them on the mat. See if that feels good and stable. If it does, you can always go a little further, lifting your arm. If that feels stable, you can go a little further lifting your leg. You can always come back to dropping the leg or the arm down. No matter where you are, a little lift in the pit of your belly so that your low back is working to come a little bit up, which means that sometimes your leg will drop down a little bit. That's totally fine. You just want to think about keeping the right hip more or less on the same plane as the left hip. So it's not way down here and it's not way up here. It's in the middle. Let's take another breath here. Inhale where you are. And then as you exhale, bring your elbow and your knee or one or the other in towards your nose. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, you can be doing just elbow or just knee, or you can do both. Let's do one more. Behind you. Place your right toes back on the mat. Place your left hand down. Draw your right knee in. If you need to wiggle out your wrists, please do. We'll go to the other side. Left toes tuck under, right foot reaches back. Lift through the pit of your belly. Reach your right fingertips out. See how that feels. If that feels like good work for your core, stay here. If you want a little bit more, lift the right arm up. If you want even a little bit more, lift the left leg up. And hug the pit of the belly in. You want that sensation in your lower belly of when you're zipping up your jeans after they've come out of the dryer. They're kind of a little bit tighter. You have to suck everything in. The Hold things together here. Let's take another two breaths on this side. And then release the hand. Release the foot. Release the knee. Inhale, find a cow pose. Exhale, find a cat pose. And I just realized I forgot our knee to know, so come back to that side, tuck your left toes under. Reach your right foot out. I want to get even on both sides. Inhale here. As you exhale, you can bring just the elbow or just the knee or both to the center line. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, elbow and knee to the center line. Not way too easy on that side. Reach the arm and the leg out. Hold for a beat. And then drop the hand. Drop the foot. Bring the knee in. Take one more cow. And one more cat. As you come back to neutral, tuck your toes under. Start to push back through the arches of the feet, kind of almost massaging the balls of the feet and the toes. And then lift the knees and come to downward facing dog. Take a moment here to pedal your feet around if you want. Move in any way that feels pleasant. Keeping your fingers spread nice and wide here. Again, index fingers are pointing straight up to the front of your mat. Or if 
you'd like to go a little deeper into your shoulders, you can soften your knees, keep lifting your hips up and back, and then just, just gently bounce your heels, bouncing your shoulders a little bit. This is really gentle. This should not cause you any pain. It should just be a gentle stretching sensation. And when you're ready, you can walk up to the front of your mat. Find your forward fold. Keep your knees a little bit soft here. Maybe roll out your wrists. Shake your head or nod it. Generally hang out. And then soft press down into the heels of the feet and slowly roll one vertebrae at a time up to the sky with heavy arms or hands walking on the thighs. When you do reach standing, roll your shoulders back. Turn your palms to face the front of your mat. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head. As you exhale, hands to the heart or out to the side, fold all the way forward. Inhale, find a halfway lift, bringing your hands onto your shins or your thighs. As you exhale, plant your hands down, walk or step to the back of the mat, coming to a downward dog or a table. Inhale to come forward to a plank, shoulders are over the wrists. Exhale, knees come to the mat, untuck your toes, lower your chest all the way down to the floor, tuck your pelvis down. Inhale, little cobra pose, you can stay quite low here. If you'd like, you can come up a little higher if you feel ready. On an exhale, release. Go ahead and push yourself back to your table pose, sliding your hands underneath your shoulders. Again, tuck your right set of toes under, reach your right foot out. This time, you're going to take your left toes and tuck them under as well. But you're going to take your left foot out to the side of your mat. If you have tender wrists, I highly recommend stepping your left hand slightly further forward than your right hand to start this one out. It just gives a little bit less pressure down on the wrist. Roll your weight all the way over to your left hand, lifting up onto your right fingertips. Turn your right toes to face the long edge of your mat and sweep your right arm up to the sky as you inhale. As you exhale, you can reach your right arm up over your head. Press down into the outside edge of your right foot. Feel free to look up. As you inhale, reach that right arm straight up, potentially lift your right foot away. Hold here for a breath or two. Flex your foot as if you're trying to stand on a wall back behind your foot. You can stay right here. You can start to fold that right foot behind you. If you feel open, you can reach back with your right hand and catch on, looking up towards the ceiling. You can catch the inside or the outside of the foot. You can get wobbly if you want to. <laughs> when you're ready, really. And fold all the way back down to the mat. Between the sides, inhale to a cow and exhale to a cat. Inhale back to neutral. Tuck your left set of toes under, reach your left foot back. Your right toes tuck under as well, but they come out to the side, creating that kickstand. Again, you might like to walk your right wrist a little bit in front of your left to create less pressure. Roll the weight open, turning the left toes to the long edge of the mat. Reach the left arm up. Press into the outside edge of the left foot, and as you exhale, reach the left arm overhead. Enjoy the side bend. Feel free to look up, but keep shrugging your shoulders down towards the end of the mat, towards your hips, rather than towards your ears. reach that left arm straight up and potentially lift up the left leg as well finding a little bit of balance again kick through the heel of your foot find some strength here keep drawing the shoulders back half moon pose when you're ready release the foot release the hand come back to your table inhale cow Exhale, cat. You could continue moving in cow and cat or in your table, or if you're ready, you can tuck your toes and come up to your downward facing dog. Feel free to move for a few breaths there as well. When you're ready, walk or step or hop yourself up to the front of your mat to find your forward fall. 
Soften your knees. Exhale. As you inhale, roll one smooth breath now up to the ceiling, maybe taking your arms out and up. And as you exhale, bring your hands down by your sides. Lightly rotate your palms forward, take a deep breath. Up over your head. As you exhale, fold yourself forward. As you inhale, lift up halfway. As you exhale, plant your hands down, step or hop or walk back to your table or your downward facing dog. Inhale forward to your version of plank. You could stay with the knees up or you could drop the knees back down. Exhale slowly to the floor. Inhale. Take your cobra or your up dog, or if you'd like, elbows on the floor for space. As you exhale, come on back. Table pose, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Tuck the right toes under, reach the right leg back as you inhale, and then lift that right leg. As you exhale, bring your right knee in towards your nose. Inhale, bring the right leg behind you. Exhale, the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, the leg behind. Exhale the knee to the nose. Inhale the leg behind. One more time to the elbow. Keep the knee here. Lift it up as high as you can and see if you can step the foot to the outside of the hand. You could place your fingertips on the floor or you can grab a block or some props and place those underneath your hands. Tuck your back toe under. Lift your back knee. Your hands are inside your right foot. You want to start to lower your torso a little bit to the inside of your right leg. Your right foot can be at any angle that feels good here. As you lower down, counteract that motion by lifting up your left hip. So those are opposing forces. You're lowering your body down, but at the same time, you're resisting the floor. Take another breath here. And then push yourself all the way back up. This is where it gets tricky. If you have not yet already, angle your right foot a little out to the right. Soften your back knee and see if you can step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Walk your hands up onto your thighs, coming into a squat. We're gonna do three squats, and you can squat with your knees out to the side. You can bring your feet closer together and take more of a ski style squat, or you can come all the way down to the floor and do a malasana squat and come back up. See what feels good for your knees. As you inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, find your version of squat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, squat. Inhale up, exhale squat. Inhale all the way up, turn your toes if they're turned out to face towards the short edge of your mat and fold all the way forward. It's fine if your feet are a little bit wider. Inhale, lift up halfway. As you exhale, plant your hands down, walk or step or hop your feet back to your down dog or to your table. From your down dog or your table, inhale forward to your plank, knees high or low. Exhale to the floor. Inhale, lift the center of your chest, cobra, sphinx, or up dog. Exhale, make your way back to table. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Tuck your left set of toes under, reach that left foot back, and inhale the left leg up to the ceiling. Well, not up to the ceiling, well, kind of as high as it wants to go comfortably. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale the leg behind. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, leg reaches behind. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale behind. Exhale, knee to elbow. Hold it here. Lift it up as high as you can without taking your right hip out to the right. So your right hip is staying right on top of your right knee. And then step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Tuck your back toe under. Lift your back knees. Feel free to grab some props underneath your hands here. Left foot is out to the side, hands are on the inside of it, and again, it's those opposing forces. Your shoulders are going heavy, you're lowering a little bit down, feel free to bend your elbows, but your hip is trying to lift up at the same time. Those two forces are fighting within you so that every single muscle in your body is extremely active here. Not a long hold, not a particularly complicated pose, but if you put all this intention into it, it's quite challenging. Lowering the hip, or excuse me, lifting the hip, lowering the torso. Take another breath. And then lift yourself up. 
If you haven't already, angle your left toes a little further to the left and see if you can step your right foot to the outside of the left foot. Three squats, your variation. As you inhale, you lift all the way up. Remember, you can always come back to this more ski style squat. As you exhale, you can bend your knees. Doesn't matter, your version. Inhale to lift, exhale to squat. Just have one more. Lift all the way up. If your feet are facing out to the corners of your mat, turn them back to the front and fold all the way forward. If your feet are wide, that's totally fine. Inhale, half lift. As you exhale, plant your hands down. Walk or step or hop back to table or downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Shoulders are over the wrists. Exhale, lower to the mat. Inhale, cobra sphinx or upward facing dog. Exhale back to your table pose. Shrug your shoulders back. Tuck your right toes under, reach your right foot back. Lift the right leg behind you. Inhale. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, reach the leg behind. Exhale, knee to the elbow. Lift it up high. Just one set this time. Set the foot on the outside of the hand. Now, this time, again, tuck your back toe, lift your back knee. If you need to wiggle your foot back so that your leg can be straight, feel free. Your left hand can be on the floor or can be on a block, and your left wrist can be at any angle that feels good. Same thing with your front foot. Twist to your right, open your right arm up to the sky, shrug your shoulders back. Enjoy this for a moment. Again, lift your hips a little bit, but soften your shoulders. As you exhale, fold back to the inside of your front foot. We're going to go for another squat. So if your toes aren't already turned out, you might want to. That makes it a little easier to step forward. Soften your back knee. Step your left foot to the outside of your right foot. Inhale to stand up. Just one squat this time. Exhale to squat. Inhale to lift up. Turn the toes to face the short edge of the mat if they're not already. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step, or hop, or walk back. And we've done quite a lot of vinyasas, so feel free to skip your vinyasa and come directly to table. If you feel really frisky, you could come through that vinyasa plank, push up, cobra or upward dog, and then we'll all meet back in our table pose. Tuck the left set of toes under, reach the left foot back, lift the left leg up as you inhale. Just one set, knee to nose as you exhale, inhale behind you. Knee to elbow as you exhale, hold, lift up, and step the foot to the outside of the hand. Again, lift the back knee up, squiggle that back foot back if you need to. We're coming into a twist, so the right hand stays planted down. Again, wherever the angle feels good, wherever the placement feels good, your hand can be really close to your foot or really far away. Twist when you're ready to your left, reaching your left arm to the sky, shrugging your shoulders back. Lift your hips a little bit, soften your shoulders. Nice deep breath here. And then fold back down. This is your very last squat, so really enjoy it. Soften that back knee, turn the left toes out a little more maybe, and step to the outside of the foot. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, your version of squat. Inhale, lift all the way up. Turn your toes if they're not already to face the front of the mat. Exhale, the foot fold forward, excuse me. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands down. Step back, table or downward facing dog. Again, feel more than free to skip your vinyasa if you've had enough. And come directly to table or even for a rest in child's pose. If you feel fiery, join me inhaling to plank, exhaling to the mat. Inhaling, cobra or sphinx or up dog. Exhaling, we'll meet back in our table. <sighs> right leg comes behind you as you inhale. As you exhale, simply bring the right knee to the right elbow. Lift it up and set the foot on the outside of the hand. Again, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. We're coming back into our twist. Now again, like 
the uh, hold in the table where we were lifting the arm and the leg and then coming to the side, a little half moon, you might want to walk your left foot, or excuse me, your left hand, the hand, a little bit forward so that your arm, step back here, is at less than a 90 degree angle to the mat. So instead of putting all your weight here into your wrist, there's a little bit less. Your right foot is out to the right, a little wide on the mat. Your weight is on your left hand, twist to your left, open up. You could stay right here, or if you feel quite frisky and your wrist feels strong, you can start to rotate your left toes towards the long edge of the mat, walking this right foot back, press the right foot down, lift the hips. A little side plank variation with a nice hip stretch. Feel free to stretch your arm over your head, maybe even looking up. When you're ready, you're gonna fold back towards the mat. Walk your right foot back next to your left foot, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. And we'll go to the other side. Come back to your table pose. Shrug your shoulders back. Wiggle out your wrists if you need to. Left foot reaches behind you. Left leg lifts as you inhale. Simply going knee to elbow as you exhale. Lift that knee up. And then set the foot down on the outside of the hand. Tuck the back toe. Lift the back knee. If you need to wiggle that foot back, please do. Again, you might want to walk that right hand just a little bit forward for that less than 90 degree angle. I like to turn my wrist, sometimes even out slightly. Do what feels comfortable for your own anatomy. When you're ready, press down through all five of those right fingertips and twist. And this might feel like plenty for your hips, your shoulders, and your wrists. You can certainly stay and just enjoy the twist. Or if you like, you can put a little more weight into the fingertips, start to roll the right toes. So you end up on the outside edge of your right foot. You walk your left foot back to a comfortable space and you can press really firmly down into your left foot to help you lift your right hip up. Lift your arm up or maybe even over your head. Take a few enjoyable breaths here. Ready? Fold all the way back down, bring the hands to the mat. You can step back to table or back to downward facing dog. You're welcome to just hang out for a few breaths in table or dog or child's pose. Or you can do one last half vinyasa, inhaling to plank, exhaling to the mat. Inhaling, your version of back bend, whatever feels good. As you exhale, come back to your base. Table or dog or child's pose, take a deep breath there. If you haven't already, bring your knees to the mat. Take them a little bit wider than your hips. Hips come back towards the heels. We're gonna twist here, taking the right arm underneath the left armpit and looking underneath that left armpit. You can always place your head on a block here as you complete this twist. Feel free to simply reach your left arm in front of you or to take your left hand behind your back. If this twist does not feel comfortable in child's pose, you are more than welcome to take this exact same twist from a table pose. Again, you can always place a prop underneath your head. See what works, again, for your anatomy today. the right arm, reaching it out in front of you, and take this twist over to the left. Go ahead and unwind. Walk your fingertips back in towards you and come to a comfortable seated position. Whatever works for your body. Inhale and rest. 
somewhere on your lap. your eyes. Again, maybe nod your chin lightly towards your chest. And just feel your breath. How do things feel? Is it different? than it was at the beginning of class. as you inhale. Bring the soles of your feet together here. Knees are out to the sides. Feel free to prop underneath your knees or just sit up onto a blanket or a block if that feels more comfortable for your body. You can hold your feet or place your hands anywhere on the floor. Lift up so you're straight and tall as you breathe in and as you breathe out, fold forward. Come to the place that feels just right for you. Begin to feel a stretch. As you come to that place, feel free to tuck your chin a little towards your chest. Lengthening the back of your neck. Tips in towards you. Roll your shoulders back. Gather your knees in. And if you're not already doing so, turn to face towards the front of your mat. Soles of the feet rest on the floor. You're sitting right in the center of your mat. Bring your hands behind your thighs. Lift the center of your chest up here as you inhale. As you exhale, lean a little back until you feel your abdominals start to activate. As you inhale, come back up like you're rowing a little boat. Exhale, lean back, feel the activation. Inhale to come up. You can stay right here holding the back of your thighs for support. Go as far down as you need to go to feel some activation. If you need a little bit more, you might reach your arms out in front of you as you inhale and draw your fists in towards you as you exhale. Do three or four more of these. Gentle boat pose variation. You're going to just keep going all the way down to the floor. Feel free to catch behind your thighs and bring your knees with you if you would like. Drawing them as you're ready in towards your chest. Give yourself a little rock from side to side. And then place the soles of your feet on the floor, knees pointing up towards the ceiling. Bring the triceps, the backs of your arms to the mat, really nice and close to your torso. Palms are facing one another, fingertips are pointing up to the sky for robot arms. As you inhale, relax here. As you exhale, start to firm up, draw your belly button towards your spine, push your shoulders and your heels into the mat, and then lift your hips up. Inhale up here. As you exhale, slowly lower your hips down. Just let them kiss the mat. And then as you inhale, lift back up. Lift and lower a few times if that feels comfortable. 
If you need to, you can simply hold your bridge or just lying in your constructive rest pose. to the mat. Rest here. You can let your hands fold in to rest on your belly for a moment. A little wider than your hips. Spread your arms out to the sides. Palms may be facing the floor. And just windshield wiper your legs a few times side to side. legs back to the center line. You might like to one more time hug them towards your chest. Lower back and your belly. And from here we're ready for Shavasana. If there's any other pose or shape that your body requires you can always add that in before making your way to a comfortable resting place. resting place. Feel your inhale. Feel it move your belly, your chest, your shoulder. here in your breath. Sometimes your attention wanders away, wondering how much time is left, wondering what's for dinner, things about your day or about tomorrow. That's fine. That's perfectly normal. Our brains are great at multitasking days and lives require a lot of multitasking. But this is the time for, I'm going to call it unitasking. Starting to slip into thoughts outside of the right here and the right now. Feel your breath. Come back to your breath so that it becomes your whole focus. Give your brain, give your nervous system a little bit of time to relax. That's what Shavasana is all about. A little mini rest so that you get up refreshed and new.
return to your day. Take a nice breath in through the nose, filling up your lungs and your belly. Have a nice big sigh out your mouth, bringing your belly wall back towards your spine, feeling your chest gently relax. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe turn your head a little from right to left. And roll yourself all the way over to one side to rest for a few breaths. Bring yourself to a comfortable seated position for you. Take your hands from the point of your heart. We'll close here with a deep breath together in through the nose, out through the mouth, on three. One, two, three. and as always your incredibly precious time have a wonderful rest of your day i hope your body feels a little more open and your mind as well and ready for whatever your week has in store thank you